Central. You know how fast you're going? What? How fast you're going? I don't know. Ten? Eight. Be advised, this is an explicit podcast, so if you're easily offended, get your panties twisted into a knot, turn this off before you get butt hurt and mad, start to cry, have to run to your safe space. All opinions are those of the host and his guest, and do not reflect the opinions of any government agency. Uh, welcome back to another episode of Motor Cop Chronicles Podcast. Mice Man, your host, as always. Uh, yes, I know I'm late. Sunday was Fourth of July, and I was off today, and I couldn't get motivated off my lazy ass to do the podcast earlier. So I'm actually recording this at like ten o'clock at night. So get off. Like I said, I'm gonna put something out. Say it's the head of time you said then. Sometimes do live shows on uh, Facebook and YouTube, Motor Cop Chronicles Podcast. Go on, uh, like, subscribe if you want to check a live show out. Uh, I don't know if Doc's going to be here Wednesday night or not. Uh, but either way, we have a live show Wednesday doing a news section again. Uh have quite a few interesting news stories to tell. So, go like, subscribe, hit the bell on YouTube, uh, we're on Rumble, Twitter, uh, all that stuff like that. Uh, if you're a law enforcement first responder or anything like that, uh, want to be a guest, uh, message me, email me, Podcast at gmail.com. If you just have a story you'd like told, email it, we'll keep you your name out of it, and we'll Read your story out on one of the podcasts. Just let me know. So, let's get this started. Uh, hope everyone had a happy Independence Day, a safe Independence Day. If you were out firing off fireworks, hope no one lost any toes, fingers, and everybody's uh, eyebrows are still intact. So, since it is uh, the true Independence Day, July, uh, 4th of July, I believe it is July 2nd, but I don't, they do it on July 4th. But anyway, happy Independence Day. Celebrating it, the real one. I'm going to tell a couple little stories. Uh, Made some traffic stops last week, of course, like I always do. Always making traffic stops, you know me. You know, ice man getting behind somebody. Anyway, pull over a vehicle, 75 and a 60, 15 over. Uh, driving in and out of traffic. Was getting pretty reckless. Uh, stopped at the car, approached it, uh, told. The female that was driving while I stopped her, she was 22 years old. She gave me her license, uh, and she, I told her, you know, you're in and out of traffic and you were speeding. You're getting to a point where she's going to be reckless. Well, after she gives me her driver's license stuff, she goes to hand me this other card. Well, as we all know that I'm getting older, my eyesight is not what it used to be. Especially... I can see far off, you know, good. My close-up sight, like reading stuff, like driver's license and stuff like that, without my glasses on, yeah, it's about damn near impossible. Well, anyway, she pulls this other card out, and I have her driver's license, and she starts t- telling me, uh, and she says, well, I just got this, and then I'm like, I, I could see some big words printed on it from distance and could read it. I'm not going to say where it was from, but I'm like, 
is that a inmate ID card or something? Because that's what it kind of looked like. Oh, no, no, this is my exotic dancer card. I, I mean, she just got it. She was proud of it. I think the uh, plastic was still warm out of the press on it, but she she was proud of it. She was showing me her exotic dancer uh What do you want to call it? Uh, permit or whatever. I'm like, oh, well, uh, congratulations on that. I said, look, I'm just going to be right back. I go back. I, I do the ticket. I'm bringing, I come back so I can have her sign it and print it out and give her a copy. I come back, and she's like, well, look, I was just in a big hurry. You know, she was going to this other area to uh, dance. And I asked, I said, well, why? The area she was coming from also has a fairly large strip club. I was like, why didn't you go to that one? It no, for anybody guess, I've never been inside of it, but you can see it from the interstate. But I asked, I said, why didn't you just go to that one? It's so much closer. She's like, oh, uh, well... I went there, but the manager wasn't there, and I didn't, they didn't know he was going to be back, so I'm going to this other place, and if you don't get to this other place, she might have said the name, I don't remember, I wouldn't say it anyway, but this other place was probably a good, I don't know, hour from where she was at, in, in, from the other strip club, and I'm like, and she's like, if you don't get there by 5 o'clock, or 5.30, I don't remember exactly, that you have to pay, I guess, the strip club, <laughs> excuse me, like I said, it's late. you have to pay the strip club $75 to dance for that night. Well, that's a, a lot of ass and titty shaking, I guess, to make 75 bucks. I don't, I don't know what strippers make, exotic dancers, whatever the fuck you want to call them. Anyway, this girl, this little girl's 22 years old. Uh, she started trying to like justify I'm like hey I don't care I don't judge I don't give a fuck what you do for a job you know you're out there if you're you're making your money legally you know and stuff like that it's fine uh, I forgot the part when <laughs> when I was at the vehicle the first time and she gave me her stuff I'm like alright I said how much you know, I know they it's not it's going to be in the books but I can smell marijuana coming out of the vehicle. I'm like, how much weed you got in here? She's like, oh, please, I'm dead. I'm like, just give it here. So she had, she had a little dime bag. I dumped it out on the side of the road and uh, threw the empty bag back in her car. It's getting ready to be here in Louisiana where it's a misdemeanor now. Basically, people just write a ticket for it anyway, but they're changing it where it's just going to be ticketed unless you got a whole lot and we've been doing that before anyway but I you know she's 22 I gave her this thing I said look I said what you need to do eventually is find yourself a decent guy that's going to take care of you and get yourself out of the lifestyle that you're living and I mean she's like I'm like stop that wanting to date the I don't know the bad boys or whatever I said I guess they, they're cool or fun or whatever. I don't they're going to do, hey, I know the, I, I can't stand saying baby daddy, so I, I hate that term. So the uh, sperm donor to her ch child, I don't know if she had more than one or whatever, but the, her, her children, her child, she's like, yeah, he's, he's in prison right now. Mm -hmm. My point exactly. My point exactly. So hopefully that young lady, uh, I just gave her the speeding ticket. I didn't write her ticket for the weed or nothing like that. But uh, hopefully she uh, gets her shit together and uh, finds her a decent guy so she can get out of the uh, exotic dancing stuff. But she was fucking proud as a motherfucker showing me that card. I'm like, congratulations, you got your stripper card. So I don't know what you got to do to get a stripper card because I could never be a stripper because no one wanted to see my fat ass strip. And I... Cannot dance at all. Right after that, I ended up pulling over another car. Uh, 
77 and a 60. 70, 17 over. Anyway, you know, activate the lights, get them pulled over, yada, 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 make my approach. I go up to her fast. She was going. She advises me that she was heading. I don't remember where she said she was coming from. But she was heading to to Austin, back to Austin, Texas. She made a comment about going back to Austin, Texas. I'm not going to say what she said. But uh, she knows what she said. And uh, she said she was heading back there and she had been uh, teaching some class or something with some cardiologists. I'm like, oh, guys, are you you're like a doctor or something like that? No, she's uh, some, I guess she's some kind of cardiologist, cardiology nurse or something like that. She says she was a nurse. Well, I'm like, you know, I'm thinking, this, ain't, this couldn't be her first radio because she must know that most cops won't write nurses. I don't anyway. I know a lot of most cops won't, as long as the nurse isn't a raging bitch from hell, which I've had before, and we have written them because they're bitches from hell. And it was a very nice lady. We have a little conversation and stuff like that. Anyway, come find out. She, I told her, you know, I, said, I handed her stuff back to her because I don't write nurses. You know, we had a short conversation. Come find out she listened to podcast. Told her about the podcast. So hopefully, uh, I know she got her subscribed to and stuff. So hopefully she's listening. A nurse lady, uh, thank you for what you do. You're very nice. Uh, here's your little shout out. Very nice lady from Austin, nurse, heart doctor, heart, heart nurse person, and I hope she made it home okay, and I hope she had a good 4th of July also, and to you, good, real good, not letting me walk away before letting me know you were a nurse, because if not, you'd have got the ticket, so good job on your part, so I'm pretty sure that wasn't her first radio doing that. But uh, good for her. And like I said, I don't, I don't, I'd actually felt bad for writing her. She'd have been a nurse, and I would have written it. Yes, the Ice Man does have feelings sometimes. But anyway, like I said, she was a real nice lady. I hope she got home okay. Like I said, had a good Fourth of July weekend. I remember I said something about her, her little jacket thing she had on. It was one of them where you like your thumbs go through it or something like that. And I'm like. <laughs> I think I made a comment. I think something was wrong with your shirt. Your fingers are stuck through it and just making a joke about it. I don't know if I could wear stuff like that. I see a lot of ladies wear that. I don't know how she's wearing it. Just freaking heat anyway. Uh, she did mention she was extremely uh, fair complected. Didn't want to burn. And I said, you get your first tan burn. Get it out the way. Then you can tan after that. So anyway, shout out to her. I hope she's listening. Hope she's enjoying it. And, uh, Shit, I, I doubt y'all can hear it, but I can. There's fucking people out there setting on fireworks still right now at almost 10 30 at night. Oh, this is non cop related, but it's kind of funny. Uh, I bought, uh, we bought one of these, uh, Bayou bucket type thing. Basically, it's a five gallon plastic bucket that uh, has a hot water heater coil or something that they mount in it. You plug it in and you can boil seafood in this five gallon bucket. So they saw it on YouTube, the wife and stuff. So we found a place we got one. Well, I did it yesterday. Asian lover came by to pick up some. Uh, tumblers and stuff man made anyway i boiled seven pounds of shrimp and potatoes corn sausage and all the stuff in this five gallon bucket cooked it up ate it it was delicious it worked it worked fantastic well during that day i had went to the store to purchase the shrimp which of these were fresher fresh shrimp they weren't frozen so i had them in the back of the jeep and came home, did shrimp and stuff. Well, I was off today. Bam was not. So I get a, 
I get a text message early this morning. Well, she is pissed off. You hear me? She is so fucking pissed off. She said that the bag with the, the shrimp, the shrimp juice must have leaked out of the bag and got into the carpet or something in the back tailgate area of the Jeep where I had it. She said it smelled like a, a rotten whorehouse. <laughs> and it just, it, I did go this afternoon and try to get most of the smell out, but oh God, it smelled like rotten tuna fish. <laughs> that fucking Jeep. She, she wanted to kill me. She wanted to kill me. Yeah. Because her fucking Jeep smelled like rotten tuna. Like it needed a big old dose of massing gill or something. It was pretty bad. So my bad. <laughs> I got most of it. I was gonna take a few days to get it all out, but I worked on it. But anyway, don't <laughs> make sure you got a really good bag if you find some fresh shrimp that don't leak out in your vehicle and make your vehicle smell really, really bad. Another thing, I must I know I hate shopping at Walmart. Sometimes you really don't have too much for joy. I ended up going there today, but I, I don't frequent Walmart a lot. I, I try to go to different places. I basically just was in a hurry today and didn't feel like being out getting the stuff, but I needed it. So anyway, I must look like a fucking criminal or a thief or something because it seems like Every time I go to Walmart and I I went and purchased my shit and I'm coming out and I watch the little door person let all these other people buy and every fucking time, every fucking time that I go to leave Walmart, these motherfuckers going to check my receipt. Every time. Now, I just watched them let the last three people right in front of me go out and didn't check shit. And, you know, some of them look like to me, it would be possible criminal. If you're in law enforcement, you know what I mean. You know, we look at people sizing them up. Like, but I'm coming up there, and the motherfuckers, are gonna, they're going to stop me and check my receipt every single time. Well, today, it kind of, I think the girl, it wasn't an old lady. This time, it's probably 30, 40-year-old woman. I think she could tell I was just aggravated. I didn't feel like being there. And then I just watched all these other motherfuckers walk out, and you're going to check my shit. You're going to check my shit. When I just can't, I'm, give me a fucking break. Just aggravated the fuck out of me. So then, I just decided, didn't feel like cooking nothing tonight. So, on the way home, got to feed the wife, of course. I know it's not healthy, but fuck, not everything is all the time. Like I said, I just was not in a, still not, just, just not, just wasn't in one of them just, moods bam I'll tell you most of the time i'm the the happy go lucky type person and it's just i just been like blah the last few days i don't know she was like after me if my kept asking me all day for I me mean, all afternoon you all right you all right yeah i'm okay i'm just blah right now just gotta get my head wrapped around back everything i guess get back motivated it's like having no motivation but anyway so i stop at jack in a box okay Jack and a crack. Stop over there. Well, of course, everybody knows from the news and everything. Everybody's having fucking uh, personnel shortages, I guess. Fucking Jack in the Box paying $12 a fucking hour to fucking work there. Well, it took forever. I was getting, if I was, if I would have been able to get out of line, because I was kind of trapped in there, if I'd have been, I would have just fucking left. I was, it was taking that long. As long as it was taking them, I could have just fucking cooked myself. But anyway, I finally get up there, and the guy, it was like 19-something. Let's say just the 20 bucks. I give him my fucking card. Well, usually, I like, when they take your card, they scan it, they give it back. This my heart takes my card. Next thing I know, he walks off. I'm like, which I don't like that. That shit makes me, don't walk off from the drive through where I can't see you. So I don't know what the fuck you're doing. So I watched him do that, and I wasn't happy about it. It's like, are you copying the number? What the fuck are you doing? I don't like that. I'll go out my sight. Comes back, hands me my food. I still ain't got the fucking drink yet. 
waiting on a drink, waiting on a drink. Well, then he comes back again. He has my car back. Now he's in, this motherfucker sat there for like three or four minutes. It seemed like, it seemed like a longer than that. Trying to put the fucking lid on this fucking cup with Sprite in it. I'm sitting here watching him. Then he grabs another cup in this lid, and the lid's too big for the cup. I'm like, no, it don't take fucking rocket science to figure out how to put a fucking lid on a goddamn cup. I finally, it, it was taking, I, I was already aggravated, like I said. And it took this motherfucker that long. I finally, he was looking there, the window was around. I said, look, dude. I said, fuck it. I said, I don't need the shit that bad. I'm, I'm leaving. I just drove off without the fucking drink. Because, I mean, I just wasn't sitting there that long. I mean, by the time he finished putting the fucking plastic lid on the fucking plastic cup, the ice was going to be melted in the motherfucker. It was taking him that fucking long. It's like, it's not rocket science. It's not. So this motherfucker's making $12 an hour and can't even figure out how to put a fucking lid on a goddamn cup. Yeah. Dang. I, I, I just don't that, that. It's just fucking asinine. It's asinine. Asinine. I'm gonna tell one more story and then uh we'll do the thing like I said we another half hour. Hopefully, like I said, late for some reason lately it's been really hard to find guests lately. I don't know what usually I was doing pretty good for a while, just lately it's kinda of been just hit this roadblock. So they're just gonna settle for me and I really do enjoy the Wednesday stuff. I hope y'all do. I just kinda, you know, I like giving my opinions on stuff, obviously. So, it's fun. I enjoy doing it. Anyway, if you really want to see how smart the general motoring public is, I think I've said it before, if you want to see how smart fucking people are, try go direct in traffic. Go direct traffic. You will see the frustration. You will get frustrated within the first 10 minutes, I can guarantee you. You're going to see how smart people are. And wonder, you're going to ask yourself, how did these motherfuckers pass the fucking test? I'm standing in the middle of a road. It happened a while back. Anyway, I'm standing in the middle of the road. Fucking. Fre- flor- uh, I can't speak. Fluorescent vest on with a fucking flashlight with a strobing cone on the end of it that's bright as fuck. Okay. Stopping traffic. So I can let the other traffic pull out of a side road. I say, I know, I look, I got this motherfucker done pulled up and stopped directly next to me like I'm looking in their window. And I look at them like, well, what are you doing? And they're like, well, well, I stopped. I'm like, I'm like a fucking red light. Law enforcement is like, do you stop underneath the fucking red light? No, you don't. People don't fucking get it. And they get, I've had them pull up right, like, like they're right up on top of me. I'm like, scoot the fuck, don't stop that club. Oh. They don't realize if somebody ass ends them, hits them in the back, it's going to push them directly into me. But they're not smart enough to realize that. Let me, or, or they get aggravated because you get the motherfuckers that drive up there and want to slam their brakes on all of a sudden. You go stand on the road and see this fucking, you know, four or 5,000 pound bullet heading at you at, you know, even 30 miles an hour. It's a whole lot faster than what you think it is when you're standing still and it's coming straight at you. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That person, they're they're they're, they're people are fucking stupid. It's gonna pull up next to me while I'm out there, like, and then they want to look at you like you're crazy when you tell them something. I did recently uh, pull over a guy doing 42 and a 25, and he was honest. He, he said he didn't have his driver's license. I asked him if he was suspended. He said, yes, sir, I'm suspended. He had expired motor vehicle inspection sticker, and he had no seatbelt on. But he was honest about all the stuff, so I wrote him just a speeding ticket because honesty goes a long way. You start digging around for your shit like your driver's license is going to magically appear. I think Robert calls it the 415 shuffle because 32415 is Louisiana's by statute code for driving under suspension and people do they'll start searching around like they know they don't have a driver's license but they're going to look for it come on just just be fucking honest anyway this guy was honest so I look at his passenger I'm like dude you got a driver's license no I'm suspended too 
both of these motherfuckers were in their 20s. I'm talking like 22, 23 years old. They both have suspensions. I mean, how can you fuck up that bad that soon? I, 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 I didn't get, read them the right act, but I did tell them, like, look, dude, you can go to jail for this shit. Uh, stop doing it. Or if, you, if you're going to fucking drive under suspension, uh, don't speed. Don't break the law. Shouldn't you drive because one day you're not going to be so lucky, and you're going to catch a charge for it from somebody that you know you're going to end up in jail or something. Or every time you get written a citation for driving under suspension in Louisiana, it adds an extra 180 days to your suspension. You get enough of them, you'll never fucking drive again. So, but I don't understand. People do it all. All the time. They're going to speed, 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 speed. They don't have their fucking driver's license or nothing like that. So, anyway. So, that's a couple stories. Uh, Wednesday night is, uh, don't forget, unfortunately, it is the first Wednesday of the month. We all know what that is. That listen. That will be a... Uh, end of watch episode for the month of June I haven't looked at the numbers yet uh, hopefully there's not many I'm not hopeful on it but I'm hoping I'm not extremely hopeful that that's the case but I'm hopeful I'm still hoping that it's not a lot but Wednesday will be the end of watch episode where I read off all the law enforcement people that were died uh still on duty for that month. So let's hope the numbers are down. I don't enjoy doing those, but uh, I think it needs to be done. I don't know anybody else that does that every month. And I try to try to give them people as much recognition as I can. So that will be this Wednesday episode coming up. Also, we do have uh, I do have a uh, quite good quite a bit of stories. I'm, I'm going to talk about those uh, moors, not s'mores, because s'mores are delicious. The 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 moors, the ones they did that just got arrested with that standoff in another state. I want to talk about them. I, I've been doing a little research on them and reading some stuff and watching videos and stuff like that as much as I could, without just getting totally pissed off about it, because. Well, I'll give my opinion on that. Then I'll play a video, at least the sound of it, if I can't find the whole video, of uh, some college students and what they think of our great United States of America, which pissed me the fuck off, too. I don't know when Doc sees it or hears it, he's going to get pissed, too. So we do have, uh, I do have a lot of good stories that's going to be out Wednesday. So come back and listen to them, and like I say, it will be the end of watch uh, episode for that month. So, like I said before, hope everybody had a, a good Fourth of July. Sorry, this one was late. Like I said, I just been kind of, I don't know, been kind of in a slump, and uh, I don't know if it's a slump or it's like I said, I'm just trying to get myself back motivated. No, I'm not. It's not the podcast aspect of it. It's just motivation in general for me. You know, I just, you know, I don't know. I don't know why why I'm like that right now. But I will get get back to my normal self uh, shortly. Hopefully. Like I said, just a, just a slump. Anyway, like I said, I won't apologize. I, I know I'm late on it, but I'm still going to put it out. Like I said, thanks to the nurse lady. I hope she's listening. And uh, I hope the stripper girl made some money that night because she was, she was happy. She was happy she had her stripper card. <laughs> so see y'all back uh, Wednesday. Try to uh, check out the live show. We're on Twitch, Truvo, uh, YouTube, and Facebook when we go live. check You can come watch on any of those. If you'd like to interact with us, if you do come on a live show, you have to say something or I'm not going to know you there. 
chat app I'm using on restream for all three of them, I can see I, I can see how many people are on watching, but I don't know who it is or who's coming on unless you say something, unless you send a message. Okay, so if you'd like to interact with me and Doc and stuff while we're doing the show, please do. If you do see it, like it, subscribe, and uh, share it with your friends. Until Wednesday, remember to always smile because the Iceman could always be behind you. I'm cranking up on the throttle. This is how legends are made.